I'm going to pick this one here. Adding a computer to a domain. How to add a computer to domain. So in order to add a computer to a domain, you need to right click the start button and go to the system. So this is just one way to get to it. But what you actually need to do is go to advanced system settings. And this is going to be slightly different in Windows 11, which I will show you. But this is how you do it in Windows 10. So go to the system properties and you just need to get to advanced system settings. And you can also search for advanced system settings within just your start menu, or I should say the taskbar. You can just click on the search and uh, type in what you're looking for. And you have to make sure that you select computer name as the first tab under the system properties. Select change where it says here to rename this computer or change its domain or work group. Select change. And as long as you have connection to the domain, you should be able to add it to a domain. And of course, you need administrator privileges specifically for that domain, not the local admin account. So not the local admin account, but a domain admin account, administrator account, because you need those privileges in order to add a computer to a domain. You can see this computer name is named stream and you can rename it at the same time. So if you want to name it something else, you here's your opportunity to do it at the same time. And all you have to do here is just select domain, type in a name of the domain, for example, well, let me see what I have running is my domain controller here. Here is my domain. I'm going to go to Active Directory, figure out what the name of the domain is. So I'm going to go to Active Directory Users and Accounts. And the name of this domain is corp.contoso. So I'm going to type that in, corp.contoso.com and whatever yours is yours is going to be different right and then i'm going to select okay and then after this since this computer is not connected to it then i can show you how to do it on a domain controller uh, or, or domain connected computer uh, you will get a prop for administrator login right so you will get a login account then you type in your administrator login id and password and this is the error you get if your computer is doesn't have access to that domain with windows 11 it's done a similar way so if you right click the start button go to system you will get something that looks similar however you will get an option to select related links for example if you scroll down you can see you can select here domain or work group or advanced system settings but of course if you select the search box here you can type in advanced come on advanced there it is, view advanced system settings, which will take you to the same place that we saw in Windows 10. And here is the same place. If you go to the computer name, which is the first tab here, select change. You can see this computer is named computer one, and you can see that it's already part of domain. So if you want to add this, this is where you would do it. And of course you would use administrator admin login for that domain in order to join it to this domain, just like you see here. All right, I'm gonna pull up my actor directory users and computers just to show you here and if i select let's see users you have to make sure you have a login that has administrator privileges when you're adding this so for example this one here this one here is called lab admin and it's built-in account for administering the computers on the main so i can use lab admin as a login id to add this computer to that domain all right very good question minimize action and i'm going to say reply if you go to advanced system settings under first tab called or i should say named computer name on that on that tab select change to add computer to domain computer needs 
to be on the same network and you need domain admin login ID and password.